Hello and welcome to Nomoria. I just got this uh, like a week or so ago. I played a couple hours just to kind of get used to what the heck I'm doing. I still don't know what the heck I'm doing. Which is what's going to make it a fun uh, set of videos. You're basically going to watch me learn. I'm going to play... Uh, I do have another game, but it went badly already. Uh, so we will not go back there. Uh, but we are going to take a uh, nice peaceful land. We'll call it Peace Valley. Because it's peaceful. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I guess we'll leave everything normal. Let's just go back to... Here, yeah, standard, peaceful, done. Let's generate this thing. So on the peaceful difficulty, enemies don't spawn. That should make things a little bit easier for me. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. We are going to learn how to build things. And maybe build something really cool. So we'll, we'll be able to figure out what the heck we're doing after we generate a map here. Do, 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 do. Come on. Come on, finish generating that map. So when I started this last time, I had nine gnomes, two yaks, and a bunch of supplies. And my yaks decided that uh, they didn't really want to hang out with me anymore. And they left or died or something. And I stopped having yaks, which kind of made uh, things difficult because I couldn't, uh, oh, you know, slaughter a yak to get bones to make a needle to start doing cloth stuff. So thankfully, you all get to avoid watching me commit that embarrassment. All right, let's take a look around here. What do we got? We got a cool mound of a mountain. Yes, we shall call this home. Let's see, where are my peeps at? Doop, 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 there they are. Yeah, we'll make this the entryway. And then, uh, this looks like there's plenty of space on this ground floor for us to do cool stuff. So let's go ahead and designate some mining. Let's just mine into like here. And then let's have a... Little room off to the side. Put some beds there, I guess. Now what else we got? We got a bunch of wood. Orange trees? Orange trees, awesome. Apple trees. There's some apple trees. Cool. Strawberries, cotton. Alright, so we have all the essentials here, so we can turn... Uh, set up a pasture here. Set up our farm, I guess, right outside the door for now. Which means cutting down a lot of trees. Maybe we don't want to put the farm there. Maybe we should put our wheat farm over here. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, okay. So... I'm getting ahead of myself. So first things first, we're going to start mining out the mountain. We're going to make a big storage room. And we're going to start carving out places that will be individual bedrooms for people. We need a farm to produce wheat. Why? Because of the yaks, wherever they are. Hello, little yakis. You're not a yak. There's the yaks. Uh, let's look at our population here. So we will name these after people that I know. I'm going to give my... Oh, I didn't keep the name. There it is. Well, that's interesting. It didn't keep it in. Do I have to just reopen that window or something? 
Okay, apparently it doesn't update dynamically. Alright, we will make them miners, because they're my friends. And what do you do with friends? You torture them, right? I kind of feel like I want a bigger, grander entryway. But uh, we'll go with this for now. So we're going to mine stuff out. We're going to cut down a whole heck of a lot of trees. We are... In fact, we got two sets of trees. We're going to forage a bunch to make sure we get food. Let's go ahead and set up the foraging. I want to get all these trees and strawberries that are down here. So, all of you, all of you, you definitely, and that stuff, stuff over here. And this is a lot of orders I'm giving out. And it's maybe not uh, optimal to do it that way. But I don't care too much. Let's go ahead and designate a farm. So let's see. This looks like a great place to start growing wheat. We'll make it a priority one job to set that farm up. And let's go ahead and forage all this cotton that's over here, because I want to start a cotton farm as well. So we're going to need it. Uh, let's forage everything that's right here. Alright, now, I'm going to go ahead and... Cut down all these dang trees, they're in my way. Everything except the orange trees. So orange trees can stay for now. Yeah, I guess those two orange trees aren't going to stay. Nah. That's a lot of trees to cut down. Whew. Probably a bad idea to queue up that much tree cutting, but we're going to do it anyway. Now we also are going to set up a pasture. Going to make it right over here. Uh, that ought to be big enough. Stick the yaks over here. Any kind of straw is fine. Be priority one. This will be the yak pasture. Which reminds me, let's come back over here. Okay, that picked up the name Wheat Farm, so that's good. And let's see, anything else I want, need to do right now? I kind of like how we're three levels up above the ground, or two levels up above the ground. So one, two, two levels up. That's pretty cool. Uh, my other game, I got real lucky. There was uh, veins of uh, gems. Actually, at uh, height level, or depth level zero, I think it was. That was pretty cool. Unfortunately, I had no yaks, so I couldn't uh, do much of anything. Oh, I don't see any water, though. That's bad. Oh, there's water. Okay. So one thing we're going to want to do as well... Can't do it yet. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, let's see. Food, drink, well... I'll just build like a couple of wells right there. It's probably too many wells. You know what? Let, let's go back. We're just going to build one well. that well will uh, give us an emergency drink supply in case of um, emergencies. Hmm. Funny how that works. Oh, and let's build a... Uh, let's see. Well, it's not really built. Let's designate a stockpile. 
here. And the stockpile is just going to be the place where we stick dirt. So this will be the dirt pile. Alright, so we got a farm, we got a dirt pile, the yaks in the pasture. And everybody has a job to do, right? Clean the floor, that'll get people doing jobs. I did say clean floor, right? Yeah, there you go. And we'll keep the miners mining. Well, first let's clean the floor. Now that that's done, I'm going to designate, and this is purely temporary won't be keeping this long term. Dormitory. And in fact we may not even like keep this long enough for people to actually sleep here. Just lay in two, three, four straw beds. And that ought to be enough to get these people through a couple of days if we have to. I'm a big fan of this type of game. I played uh, played a Dwarf Fortress. I could never quite uh, master uh, the military stuff and assigning barracks and those sorts of things. Maybe I'm, you know, not exactly the best at that, but it was a lot of fun. It was a whole, whole lot of fun. All right. So I kind of want here in my entryway a little zigzaggy thing. And we can come back like this. You're going, what the heck is he doing, man? Getting ready. Make some private bedrooms for people. And this is uh, based on the what I did in Dwarf Fortress. Everybody had their own little bedroom. And they may not have always been great bedrooms, but everybody had one. They could be happy. I imagine the situation is similar here. You know, you want happy gnomes. You want your gnomes to have a little privacy, some private quarters. They'll sleep better, have their own bed, have their own possessions. That'll make them happy, happy. In fact, this gnome gets something like that. And now here, this area, Is going to become like the big storeroom. Oh, we don't want to clear that out. That'll put a hole to the outside, and that would be bad. One of my favorite things in Dwarf Fortress, and it's also my favorite things here, is just to designate a bunch of work to do and then watch them scurry around doing it. It's a pretty great feeling. Once we dig out this and we designate it as a storeroom, We'll get the uh, gnomes mining things down. Oh, look at them! Picking up dirt! Here you go! I didn't even have to designate that to be cleaned up. That's awesome. Alright, let's look at the population. People are getting finding jobs to do. That's good. Uh, let's look at the rancher. What does his job do? This is really cool. I love being able to look at this stuff. A rancher. Miscellaneous hauling. Do cooking. And we'll 
husbandry, butchery, and leatherworking. Yeah, that's another thing. We gotta start working on our workshop stuff. But that will wait. Just just one minute here. While we clear all this out. The rancher's hanging out with the yaks. The, oh! This guy is busy foraging. That's good. I probably gave too many foraging jobs out there. But, uh... Oh well. Where do these people go? Long term, I might mine out this whole little section here. This curvy thing I'll probably line with traps or something like that. It would be awesome. Totally awesome. I think I just blew into the microphone while I was trying to do that, but oh well. We're gonna have plenty of wood. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? The answer? A whole lot of wood. And they would chuck it too if they could. Okay, everybody's got a little something to do. That is awesome. I know we're playing on peaceful, and we don't have to worry about enemy attacks and stuff. And that's the only reason why I've queued up, like, big batches of work to be done. Uh, if I was playing more seriously, I would probably already be working on uh, workshop type stuff, things of that nature. Let's see, I want to make the dirt pile. Yeah, it's priority one for dirt. Good. And let's uh, designate this area as a stockpile for everything. I just want to get stuff in here. This is our default stockpile to put things into. Oh man, is that yak milk? That's yak milk. Good. As long as those yaks keep making milk. Ain't nobody gonna be going hungry. Or thirsty. You know what I mean. I hope. This little valley down here is, might end up all wheat. And then we can have like cotton here. The yaks all throughout like this. Uh, strawberries over here. Then uh, groves of trees, like these apples. That should just be an apple grove for me. All the way over there. Maybe orange trees all through this. I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself by planting that kind of stuff. Oh, look at them moving logs in. Probably didn't really want them to do that, but oh well. Oh, let's pause. Alright, so we have the basics. Supply room. Let's do a hallway down like this. And I want to mine out a 3x3 three three chunk like that. And then we can have stuff coming off from that. 2, 3, 4. Um, 7. Kind of like that. I want to go all nice and vertical and cool, but I think I'm going to keep everything uh, simple and I'm one level right now. Maybe not. Oh, this is really cool. Uh, I discovered this while I was playing. If you want to make an existing stockpile or something else that you designate bigger, you can. Look at that. Now this whole area is that one great big stockpile. It's really cool. Ooh, there's some stone there. Good, we need stone. I 
I'm not really mining this stuff out to get resources. But we do need resources. Let's, uh... Terrain... Oh, I guess I gotta build it, don't I? Got plenty of dirt. Hmm. I'm looking at this and I'm realizing I made a terrible mistake. Let, okay, let's cancel that. Let's make this a uh, little bit bigger. So three by three, let's mine out four by four. And then with the four by four, we can have a set of uh, two by two stairs in the middle, two going up, two going down. It'll be pretty cool. Build. Stairs up. And uh, I don't want to use my clay. There's stuff we can do with clay, but there's not stuff we can do with dirt, really. So let's see, we'll do that. And then we'll do... Uh, my, or dig. Stairs down. Here and here. We'll just let that happen. I'm going to make the priority of this stockpile really low. I don't really want stuff going into it. It's just kind of like, uh, we got to put stuff somewhere. Let's put it there. As opposed to leaving it out here. Alright. Now here, let's mine some stairs up. Oh boy. I hope I got that lined. I don't have it lined up right. Cancel, cancel, cancel. We'll uh, just let them dig. And what happens? Happens. Ooh, yummy stone. So I think I read, uh,. Normally, enemies would start spawning along with metals past uh, level minus seven. So, the stairs up need to go here and here. I don't know why I'm building up right now. I'm thinking we could do something cool. What? I'm not sure yet. But we can. And until we dig it out, who knows. Ooh, that's not going to be inside. We need to cancel that. Okay. Make stairs! Make them happen for me! For the greater glory of Peace Valley. Oh, you're kidding me. Apparently, we guessed wrong. Shoot. Um, how do I get rid of freaking stairs I made? That I don't want. Remove. 
ramp? No. Maybe I can't. Okay, well, um... Kill some trees. Well, it's a good thing we're playing on peaceful and we don't have to worry about enemies coming in here. Oh my god, I, I was one square off. I thought I was one more over. Are you the builder building dirt? Good. Hey, can you just build... Right here? No, you can't. Of course not. The uh, isometric perspective makes it kind of difficult sometimes. I think, anyway. Look at all this work my people have gotten done out here. Look, we got farm. It's tilled. Not planted yet, but it's getting there. I guess they're tilling all of it and then planting. Got plenty of logs, we got stuff to drink. So while all that's happening, let's go up a level and we'll build uh, our workshops here, I think. So nice big two by two hallway. Make this thing Storage, I guess. And then over here... I have actual workshop space. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Maybe make this the stone working level. Or we can put more than one work type of workshop in here. Let's do that. This ought to work. Maybe make this one a little bit bigger. Nice. Oh, they're planting. They're planting. That's awesome. Uh, so, anyway, you know, this is me trying to learn. Nemoria. I remember when I first heard about this, I was like, oh, it's Dwarf Fortress with a better interface. That is very much what this game seems like. Which is fantastic, you know, for me. Dwarf Fortress was always fun, but man... Sometimes that game, sometimes. So, I guess we will stop here. Uh, if you like, you know, this, or you have unsolicited advice, well, too bad, I'm soliciting it. You can just give me your advice, you know, what to do. If there's like any optimal layouts, like for Dwarf Fortress, I had some uh, pretty good starter layouts for uh, what I should do for like the first four levels of my base to keep everything close together and keep people moving. 
here I'm not sure quite what the rules that govern those sorts of things are. So I'm just kind of winging it. I have the wiki open on my other monitor here, so I can go over there and take a look and see what's up. Yeah, this is really cool. I'm enjoying this a lot. I spent uh, about five hours on my other fortress, or I'm sorry, not my other fortress, my other kingdom, before I realized that without the yaks, I would have to build up a lot of value and find an ambassador and do a whole lot of stuff just to trade for more animals. And I didn't feel like doing that. I thought, hey, I should have some yaks. So that's what I'm doing. I got some yaks. Two out of five pasture animals. Yeah, so pasture size 70. That's this is so cool. I love this. I will see you all next time. Uh, I hope you like this. If you play Nemoria, let me know. Talk to me about it. I love it. Till then, have a great day.